What's up, what's up, what's up, Migo like geeks and freaks? So, last night we did a little voyage into the black hole. <laughs> That's what she said. And uh, we also took a little trip into some other toys. We saw a very cool Tomlin figure, Zor, and we also saw a Jada Toys, Frankenstein, and 57 Chevy Impala Wagon. So tonight, based on we did those yesterday, we did a little bit of monster stuff. I thought maybe we'd venture into a little more monsters. Now, this figure you're looking at in front of you here, as we play the uh, Italian music in the background, this figure, the Wolfman, is from the Guillermo uh, the Toro film, The Wolfman, back, I don't think how many years ago it was. But he's actually a 12 inch deluxe figure. De deluxe figure. Uh, he has some articulation. He is wearing, these are real cloth clothes, if you will. And, uh, He's pretty much a badass, to say the least. I mean, the guy's full of blood. The box was in great shape. I found him at the flea market here, and they was able to bring the guy down a little bit in price because he won a lot, but just take a look at that face. He's definitely been uh, in blood his claws. He's got some pretty nasty claws on the end of there. I'll take a quick spin of the box so you can see. The Wolfman Deluxe 12 inch figure for ages 18 and up. There he is in the movie. I love this movie. I thought it was a really well done adaptation of The Wolfman. I thought it was great. They also made a 7 inch figure, uh, which includes the walking cane and the 7 inch figure. But in the uh, in the 12 inch, he just has the cloth clothes. And then there's also available this, this medallion, if you will. But some really cool pictures they did a nice job I get the background with the, the dark forest and you can see the moon back here if you guys can see that it's actually the moon coming up behind them and this is Mezco toys so you can see down here bring that up for you guys to see it's Mezco toys I love Mezco toys monster stuff they make some really they made some really cool stuff over the years they made some really great stuff and uh Love their, love their figures, if you will. This one's a little dusty. It's gonna need to get a little bit of a clean out. Let's move on to what we're really here for. And as you can see, I have some really great monster, old Aurora monster stuff and Aurora tribute stuff. But let's see what's in these boxes because these are uh, monster cars, Johnny Lightning. So these are two boxes from different series of monster cars where you're looking in front of you. Let's uh, bring this down a little bit so you guys can see. All right, so we've got two boxes. Just not have room to display no more. So we're gonna open these up. I'm gonna give you guys a kind of a first-hand look at what we're dealing with here. And Johnny Lightning was around for a long time. I don't think they're around anymore. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, when were these out? These were, they are official Universal Studios licensed products. Um, they were, uh, actually they're licensed by Ford and all the appropriate car dealerships also. But I don't see the year on here. Oh, 2004, here we go. See it right there, 2004 playing Mantis and Johnny Lightning. It's got some pretty cool graphics on the back here. Collect all 12. Now I think I have the first series all, but I don't think I have the second series all. I'm, I probably should start looking for them before they get too crazy. I don't know what the price is on them, but get a look at what's going on here this is a uh this is the franken stewed so it's a frankenstein studebaker and you can see the graphics on them pretty cool and then it came with this really cool cell from the movie dr frankenstein's laboratory the laboratoire du dr frankenstein collect all 12 so these also must have been out in canada because we know they weren't going out into uh they definitely weren't going out into France. All right, let's go on to the next one. This is a, again, these are officially licensed products. This is the 57 Studebaker Golden Hawk. And this is actually, you can take a look, this is the Bride of Frankenstein. Gosh, these things are a little dusty. It's been out for so long and they got a good representation over there. It's a little hard to see with the glare, I know, but they did a good job. And again, we have another clip. Cemetery where Bride was born. The Bride of Frankenstein. Take a little clip. And again, the official Universal Monsters. 
I'll try and lay these out so we can give you guys a little look at them. Who's next? Next is, wow, look at the dust on these. It's been a while. This is the Ford, this is the Ford delivery truck, a 33 Ford delivery truck. And this is uh, Dr. Frankenstein's desk is, the, is our little cell art. And if you take a look here, this has got a great representation of Frankenstein, the bride. And uh, great, she, they're on the top of the car as well. They did a nice job with these. I thought these were quite well done. And I remember going to, I believe it was KB Toys to get these. Let's gonna get these arranged so we can get these out here. This is, okay, this is the 65 Volkswagen Samba bus. And this contains Frankenstein and the Wolfman. A lot of Frankenstein stuff, as you can see. Frankenstein and the Wolfman, they even used the uh, Home of the Universal Series, Home of the Original Mark. They even used the Frankenstein. See here, that's a great picture. And here, the Wolfman in the Transylvania graveyard. And again, so we've got all these these 12 pieces. I don't know if I have all 12. I might have series, it's a series one or two. Let me see, these are, so there's another series which came in red, and I don't want to do those yet, unless that's the end of these. Now we got more of these, because these are the ones. Here we go. This is the World War II WC-54 ambulance. And this has, obviously, wow, look at this dust. Bella Lugosi is Dracula. Pretty badass Dracula, Dracula's Castle. Well, I should say, I shouldn't say Bella Lugosi, I should just say, uh, yeah, the universal version of Dracula, which probably should be attributed to Bella Lugosi. <clears throat> All right, then the next one, this is, oh, this is awesome. This is the uh, Hull and Hearse, as you can see here. Give you a good shot of that. If we take a quick look, you're going to see it's got the mummy on there. It's uh, the Hall and Hearse. A little bit on the back. There's the mummy spread across the top. It was a good choice. Get the whole mummy up there, and here is uh, the mummy's home. All right, keep moving along. Next is, wow, let's just dust these. The 66 Cadillac Hearse. And the 66 Cadillac Hearse is also attributed Looks like to Dracula, well, some, yeah, with Dracula, there he is. He's got the bats, he's uh, got his wings open or his cape turning into wings. More bats on the side. And there's the Dracula clip lurking in the shadows. Dracula. Is that seven? I don't know if I have all 12, maybe close. I have to probably complete these, I forgot about them. The car style is not one of my favorites, but the, the character certainly is. We all know the creature from the Black Lagoon. He's the 49 Mercury. And uh, You know, this one's interesting. I just realized this one's interesting because instead of putting the character on the roof, they put the Universal Monsters logo on the roof, and they put Creature from Black Lagoon's bust on the hood. And here he is. The swampiness himself. And here is the Black Lagoon. All right, that's eight of them. Do we have all 12 of these? I think so. All right, this is uh, the 40 Ford panel delivery truck. If you guys know anything about cars, old cars are a bit of a passion of mine too. They're very, very cool. Transylvania Castle, don't go in. Now let's take a look and see what we got here. So here we go. There's a, wow. They got these dusted. They were out for years before I put them away. And this has the mummy and Frankenstein on it. Oh, there we go. We got the whole gang on the back. There we go. This is a nice shot right there. Wow. Holy dust. All right. So we've got Creature from the Black Lagoon. We've got the Wolfman. We've got what looks to be, my goodness, these are hard to say. Well, let's just say the whole gang's back there. It looks like we got a whole gang back there. Okay, three more to go in the series, and we'll show them complete. Here's another great one. Now, this I love, the 57 Chevy Bel Air. Now, if you love anything about, if you know anything about classic cars, the 57 Chevy Bel Air is a fantastic car. It's a really great car. Like, they've got it all painted up. It's ready for Monsterville. There is the creature reaching out to you. He's also on the front. 
and the back, and here is his cell, the creature, as he emerges. You know, it's kind of funny that green painted uh, creature reminds me of something. Okay. This is a 66 Volkswagen Beetle, and he's been uh, adorned with the Wolfman. This is action pose. Again, the Wolfman bust is on the hood. The Universal Monster Studio is on the top. And here's the Wolfman. It's a very, let's see, gloomy more where the Wolfman stalks. Now, we all know this scene because we've all seen the old Wolfman with Lon, uh, Lon Chaney Jr., I believe. And let's move a little closer, put a little room in here. And here's our last one of this 12 series set. So we do have the complete set here. Uh, this is the, again, the Ford 40 pickup. They love Ford in these, a little bit of Chevy, but a lot of Ford in these. And uh, this is, again, the Mummy. It's a great shot of the Mummy. Mummy's room, Boris Karloff was. And uh, nice, great graphics on that Mummy. Looks real good. There he is in the back of the truck reaching out to you. Fantastic. Okay. So we'll give you a quick shot of what these guys look like together. And here you will have them. Here's our 12 series set. Now they're not in any order. Well, the order on the back, they're not in the order of the back. Or what they have lists on the back. They're just 12 of them. But that's the whole, I guess we call the series one set. And, uh, you know, I started, I got all these because I was excited to get them. A bit of a monster fan, if you will. And uh, couldn't wait to get these things into my collection, so I made sure I got them all. Obviously, multiple trips were involved for this. I didn't get them all on the same day. Because as soon as they went out, people were picking their favorites and leaving the ones they didn't want. Although, I got to say, it's very hard to choose favorites with the... Uh, monsters my favorite is the creature from the black lagoon if you will uh but everybody has their everybody has their favorite right okay let's get these in we're going to close that up so i'm going to show you a partial collection uh of i guess what we call series two i don't have them all uh but they did a little something a little different with these and First of all, first off, they changed the cards to red. Big deal. Okay. So they changed the cards to red. Now, let's see. On the back of these, there's only 11 uh, in Series 2. If we can get the camera to focus right there. There we go. There's 11 in Series 2. And uh, you can see some of the, the cars in here, including the Fantasy Custom car. Uh, this one is a 2001 Hummer. So these did not... These came out... I'm sorry. These came out in what year were these done? Oh boy, let's zoom in for that. These came out in, where are we? 2005, we can see it right here. I'll bring that up for you. All right, where are we? There we go, 2005, these came out. Now there are 11 of these, one of the favorite, Lotus Spray. I don't even know if I have that. I haven't looked at these in ages. It's been so long, I really need to look at them. Uh, Pontiac, the 71 Pontiac GTO Judge. They should have done a 69. That's what she said. But Shelby Cobra and so on. Corvette Stingray. So this one here, this is number seven. Now these actually have a number on them, whereas the other ones don't. These actually tell you what order. So it came out number seven. It's the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. And that's a nice, that's a nice car right there. It's got really, you can see it's got the see-through. It's got the green. Uh, it's this is obviously the creature from the Black Lagoon. You can see it's it's painted on there a bit. But I'll tell you what I really like about this series. They went ahead and they made a car cover for each car, and uh, which is kind of cool because if you collect cars, you know you want to cover them to keep the the dust and shit out. But uh, they even themed it for the for the uh, character. All right, so that's number seven. This is number four. This is a four, 1976 Ford van. This is a Brian Sanchez love machine. If you don't know Brian Sanchez, please look him up on Migo Like. Brian Sanchez is the love machine. And here he is. This is the Wolfman. Again, still using the same main logo here. The Wolfman. They changed the cards up quite a bit. And I mean, look at that. Isn't that, is that not some great? Let's get a zoom in on that. 
Is that not some great Wolfman painting and so on? Look at that. Look at that. He's even hanging out in the back. How do you like that? It looks like they got a sticker in the back. Well, the Wolfman's actually looking out the back. And again, lots of dust. So that's number four. 76. So we've come up with the 76 Ford van and the Shelby Cobra Coupe. This thing just does not want to focus today. All right. What else do we have in here? We have number 11. Oh, nice. Okay, this is a good one. So it's the Lotus Esprit. And if you guys uh, ever watched the Spire Love Me with James Bond, that's the car we're talking about. Actually, let me show you this real quick. Let me go back to the whole thing because I didn't mention this. But his car cover, there's nothing on it, but it's got that kind of fake fur on it, which cracks me up. I mean, they did a nice job going into the the car covers in these i thought that was pretty cool all right moving on to the frankenstein there's frankenstein he's got a 1984 lotus spray you guys may remember this from the spy Who love me it's got a nice little cover look at it the frankenstein uh it's got the nice frankenstein car cover to go with it which has the scene of the house the little house the tree and the windmill over here very very cool all right that's number 11 I think we're missing like five of these. Okay, this is the Chrysler Atlantic Concept, number nine. This is the mummy. And again, you get some really nice, cool kind of artwork with it. The car is really cool. It's a it's a concept car. It was never really produced. But they did, you know, they, they did some nice kind of more. Let's see if we can get a zoom in. There we go. There's our mummy. And look at the cover. The car cover actually has hieroglyphics all over it and it says the mummy. So that's number nine. Let's see if I can lay these out so we can see where we're at. Getting pretty close. Yeah, I think we're probably missing... What do we got? No, we're missing only four of them. Okay, this one is pretty sweet. Again, the Wolfman. Um, again, the Wolfman. It's the... Howlaboo fantasy custom this is number three that's got a great little image there of the wolf man this is uh let's get some of that dust off there crazy custom car again with the furry car cover pretty neat so let's see what have we tackled we've tackled number three the halibut fantasy custom which is this one number four the 76 ford van uh then we jump up to the 65 shelby daytona and number nine, the Chrysler Atlantic Concept. And number 11, the Lotus Spray. All right, we're getting there. This is number three. We actually have two in a row. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the number six, the 2000 Hummer. And they're throwing this guy back to Frankenstein. They put him in green. And they put his name in purple, Frankenstein. Put a very, very, very cool... Uh, Boris Karloff looking Frankenstein on there. It says Frankenstein. God, this dust is crazy. And they gave him the green. And again, the Frankenstein cover, if you will, in the front of the car. All right, so that's number six. So we can move these down, try and get them together. Now I'm going to have to, now I took these out, I'm going to have to go find the rest. Because I only have one more left, which means I'm missing four of these. And we'll go through and figure out what we're missing in a minute. This is the Pontiac GTO Judge for the Mummy. Who deserves the Judge better than the Mummy? I don't know. You tell me. Mummy, of course. The Pontiac GTO Judge. Again, with the car cover and hieroglyphics, if you will. Let's take a look. So, there you go. There's Karloff. I'm, I'm, I'm Hotep. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice little set we got going on there. All right, so let's do a quick review. So what are we missing? Number one, the 1980 Aerovet. Number two, the Hispano Suiza Cabriolet. We've got number three. We've got number four. Number five, the Corvette Stingray. There's much we're missing. Six, we have Hummer. Seven, the Shelby we have. Number eight, we do not have. That's the Willys Panel Van. So nine, 10, and 11, we all have. So not bad, so only missing four. So give you guys a little look-see here. 
I'm gonna open this up for you so you get a better view. Move this stuff up, give you an opportunity to really check out some of the cool Johnny Lightnings, if you will. And again, we're missing four to this set. Number one, number two, number five, and number eight. And I just never found them in all my time looking around. So let's bring this over so you guys get a better. All right, let's get the zoom in on there. There we go. All right. Let's take a nice look. Some of these figures or cars, I should say. Again, Johnny Lightning. I don't know what these are. One, I can't remember what these are. 172nd, 164, 172nd, I think the scale. I don't know the scales very well with these things, but uh, really fantastic. So we've got two Wolfman, Frankenstein, another Frankenstein, two mummies, Creature from Black Lagoon. I don't know if they did a bride in this one. So we're gonna get these put back. Let's get them back in the old, in the old shoebox, if you will. Get them in there. We're gonna get those put away. I'm going to have to go looking for some of these other ones. So these have not been made in a long time. These are going on, let's see, these would be, <clears throat> wow. These have actually been going on a long time. Holy crap. Wow. So let's see what I have here. These are 18 years for these guys. I'm sorry, 17 years for these guys, 18 years for the other. Yeah, let's get these in there. Drop these in. Get these guys in. These are next. Get them in there. Okay. And that's our. Get those closed up in there. All right. So we gave you guys a good look at the Johnny Lightning uh, Universal Monsters cars. Um, my daughter has probably over 400 Fetch Box Hot Wheels cars. She's had since she was a kid. I have. Uh, like everybody else, probably hundreds of them. Um, for years and years and years, I still have a few original ones from when I was a kid. They're about 40 something, 45 years old, some of them. So they're over there, just a few pieces left over. And uh, yeah, these are actually really cool if you're a monster collector or you're um, just a Hot Wheels type style or, or you know, die cast car collector, anything like that. They're a lot of fun. I had them all on display, but just we're, we're really out of room here in the uh, Toy Room of Solitude. Not much room left here to do uh, anything else. We just kind of put a lot of put a lot of our stuff out and uh, we're out of space, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, no, it's it's a lot of fun collecting. So, do you guys collect any of these things or these any of the die casts you guys have? Do you were you even aware that they existed? Um, I saw them traveling through Toys R Us years ago. Uh, that's when I first encountered them and said, wow, these are really cool. I'd like to put these you know, into my collection. So I acquired them for those first two years and then haven't really touched them since. So I guess I'm going to go back and get the last four. Hopefully they're affordable at this point. Anyway, that's it for tonight. So if you like and subscribe, we're giving away free toys. Uh, for those of you that get picked at random, uh, we already got something out to uh, Jess Starbuck and also uh, to Tom and Sawyer, or Thomas Sawyer. And uh, that just went out in the mail to him today. It was a little bit late, everything going on. Sometimes life takes us in places that uh, we don't expect to be. We get all kinds of good stuff. So we'll put more videos up here. We'll do some live later. I uh, was trying to do some different views on things from different perspective and so on. But I'd really be interested in if you guys actually have these or if you have any kind of monster collectibles mezco toys thing like that i love the mezco silent screamers if you guys haven't seen those we'll do a episode on those those are actually very very cool uh toys from uh, old silent movies so uh yeah lots of cool stuff in there otherwise that's it have a good night peace